How long have you been going to the GAC, and what what are some highlights you think from over the over the past years? About ten years. Been going to the GAC since it was up uh, Connecticut Avenue at the Hilton, down in the bowels of the building, and uh, it's it's been really outstanding uh, to visit and see some of the notable speakers CUNA has has arranged over the years. Uh, then see what happened to the speakers and what the speakers did, legislative and other. What, um, when, you, what, when you go to the Hill this year, what, uh, what are some issues you might bring up with, with legislators? Well, hopefully we're doing okay on the bankruptcy issue. And we were very lucky to sit with several legislators and a lawyer came up who specialized in bankruptcy and we, at least they would listen to uh, our point of view and why we didn't want the bankruptcy courts to be able to uh, crunch down our real estate mortgages and other secured loans as if they were unsecured. Uh, also, uh, I'm sure we'll keep hearing about the taxation issue, and otherwise I haven't heard a whole lot of noise. Yeah. Are bankruptcies a big problem with your credit union? Any time a member defaults, that's taking money from fellow members, so anything's a problem. Bankruptcy as well, and we do have our share of bankruptcies in Florida, some related to the real estate problem and some related to the employment problem. What are some things that your credit union did to help members through these tough times we've been through lately? As has been nationwide, reporter nationwide, uh, real estate foreclosures in Florida have been pretty extreme. So we've done what we can to help our members adjust their mortgages, uh, to change the payments to make them more affordable. Uh, the delinquencies are now dropping, uh, which is nice for us. And uh, hopefully we can encourage all members to stay current on the mortgage. It's really hard, though, if, if there's a mortgage for 240000 and the house is now worth 175. It's very hard to keep paying that mortgage. Does that make sense to the borrower or do they feel responsible to pay what they borrowed?